This video is going to show you step by step how to set up your procedure buttons in Dentrix. This will save you tons of time on charting and treatment planning. If this is your first video here, welcome. My name is Jamie and I teach dental professionals how to use Dentrix to help streamline their workflow and increase productivity. Okay, so we'll jump right into creating our procedure buttons. So to create your procedure button, you need to be in the patient chart. So you'll open the patient chart and in this top toolbar, you'll go to setup and then procedure button setup. This will open this procedure button setup uh, box for you. And from here, you can see the default options that Dentrix gives you automatically. So if you're new to Dentrix or if you've just never set up procedure buttons before, this is what you will have by default. Um, so it has a couple options here. And from here, you can, you know, use the ones that you want, delete the ones that you don't need, um, and add new ones. So for this, we're going to go in and add a new one. So we'll click this new button, and this opens this window for you. And so we have different options that we need to fill in here. So first, we want to select the procedure code that we want this image to be correlated with. So for this example, we'll just we'll do a crown. So we'll click this drop down and we'll find our crown code. So we'll do um, all porcelain crown. We'll just find your code, click it. And then over here on this side, this is what will show when you hover over your icon. So when you're charting or treatment planning, you hover over it, it will show you a text. It can be either the procedure description or you can use your own custom text. So if you choose this, you know, you can make it anything you want. I like this a lot if you're using um, Dentrix multi-codes. So say you had a multi-code set up that was for um, crown and buildup. One button would do both codes. Um, if you're not familiar with Dentrix multi-codes yet, um, I'll leave a description in the, or I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out a video on how to set up and how to use multi-codes. It does save you a lot of time. Um, but this is great for that because it'll show you it's the crown and the build it. Otherwise, you can just leave it as the regular procedure description. And then down here, this will be what shows, you know, for your procedure button. So usually it's an image. You can also use um, code text. If you choose this, it will just say like D2740. Um, my preference is to use an image. I just think it's better. You can see it. Um, you can organize it a little bit easier, just makes more sense to me. So select use image and in this drop dropdown, um, you have a couple options. So new image, if you want to create your own, edit image, um, or choose image. So Dentrix does come with about 80 default icons for you to choose from. Um, most of them really good, but in some cases there are procedure codes that I can't find um, an image that makes sense to use for. So in that case, you would want to use a new image. Um, from here, it's pretty limited on what you can do. It opens this little image editor box. You can draw a little picture, you can use text, um, or you can um, upload your own image. So if you, um, if you want help with this, I have made all of the procedure buttons that I use in practice. Um, it's a pretty complete list of all the procedure buttons that most general dentistry offices would use. Um, and I have all the images. You can just download them, save yourself the hassle. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that so you can just download those and then you just open them here and then save it. Super easy. Um, but for this, we'll go ahead and just choose an image in Dentrix. Um, so we're doing a crown, so I'll click this button. It looks like a porcelain crown to me. So you click that and click OK. Your button is made. You can see it popped up over here, and it's also down here at the bottom. Um, once it's down here, you can move it around to wherever it makes sense for you to keep these organized. Um, just click these buttons over on the side, move up, move down. However it makes sense for you to organize them, you can move them however you want. Another tip on procedure buttons is that you don't need to set procedure button buttons individually for each procedure code that you do. Dentrix uses something that's called smart code, 
Um, and that means that you can just create one button for similar procedure codes and it will automatically update. So what I mean by that is something like a composite filling. We have it here. I'm just going to click edit to show you. Um, composite fillings have like 10 different procedure codes, depending on whether it's an anterior tooth, posterior tooth, one service, two to service, three service, whatever. In Dentrix, though, you only need to make a button for one of these codes. Any one of them, it doesn't make a difference. Just choose one. And when you go to chart or treatment plan, when it pops up and asks you for tooth number, for surfaces, when you answer those, it will automatically update the code to reflect the appropriate procedure code. So this is super helpful. It saves you from having a million procedure buttons. You know, the whole point of having procedure buttons set up is so that it saves you time. It makes it quicker and easier for you to chart and treatment plan. Um, and it really slows you down if you have a million procedure buttons set up. So super helpful. Only one code, you know, only one button needed for codes like this. Same with amalgam. Um, you know, the office that I work with, we don't place amalgams, but I do always keep an amalgam button for charting existing restorations. Just because we don't place them doesn't mean I don't see them all the time. So I always keep one on my procedure button set just for quickly, easily putting in uh, existing restorations for new patients. So once you have all of your buttons set the way that you want them, um, you'll want to save it. So down here at the bottom, you just click Save Button Set, and it will tell you to put in a name. Um, we'll just call it um, Practice Buttons and say OK. And you can see it changed the name up there for me. And it's all saved. That's done. Um, with Dentrix, though, this is not going to automatically update in every operatory and every computer in your office. So, you know, it's nice if you want some operatories maybe to have different procedure buttons. Um, if you do certain procedures in one room and you don't need all the buttons, however it works for your office. Personally, I find it easier just to make them all uniform throughout the office. It streamlines the whole process. So no matter where you are, you can work in the same way that you always do. You know where everything is. So I would go around to each computer in your office and simply add this in. All you need to do is go into the room that you want this button set on, open a patient chart, go up to setup, procedure button setup, and in this drop down menu, just select the one that you want. So we call it practice buttons. Select that and you can see it updated over here. Okay, now that you know how to set up your procedure buttons in Dentrix, you can start implementing this in your practice and you will see how much time it can save you. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about Dentrix, then you should probably follow me on this channel because that's the kind of videos that I make. And I'm also going to be posting a new Dentrix tutorial every single week until I cover everything in Dentrix. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in the next one.